2023 California Written Test 3. 1. Which of these statements is true about driving and taking medications? A. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. B. Over-the-counter medications cannot impair driving ability if taken in the recommended dosages. C. Medications are safe to take at any time, if prescribed by a doctor. The answer is A. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. Remember that all medications, prescription or over-the-counter, are potentially dangerous and could impair your driving. Over-the-counter medicines that you take for colds and allergies can make you drowsy and affect your driving ability. It is your responsibility to know how your medication affects your ability to drive. 2. As you approach an intersection with a flashing yellow light. A. Stop before crossing the intersection. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Wait for a green light before proceeding. The answer is B. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light means that you should slow down. Check for cross traffic and proceed with caution. 3. You may pass a vehicle when A. You are on a hill or curve. B. You are on a road with a solid line next to your lane. C. You are on a road with a broken line next to your lane. The answer is C. You are on a road with a broken line next to your lane. A single broken line indicates that drivers may cross from either lane to change lanes. Dashed yellow lines alongside solid yellow lines indicate that passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken line, but not from the lane next to the solid line. Only change lanes when it is safe to do so. 4. When using a roundabout, drivers should A. Stop in the middle of the roundabout. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. C. Yield to entering traffic. The answer is B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. A roundabout is a circular intersection that usually does not include a traffic signal and flows in a counterclockwise direction around a central island. Motorists must enter from the right, yielding to traffic already in the roundabout and follow the circle to the right until the desired roadway is reached. 5. If your vehicle starts to lose traction because of water on the road, you should a. Drive at a constant speed to gain better traction. b. Apply the brakes firmly to prevent your vehicle from sliding. c. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. The answer is c. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. When driving in heavy rain at speeds as low as 30 miles per hour. Your tires may lose all contact with the road and instead ride up on a layer of water above the surface of the road. This is called, hydroplaning. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, slow down gradually and do not apply the brakes. 6. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn. B. Intersection. C. Lane change. The answer is B. Intersection. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that your current road ends at an intersection straight ahead. Slow down and prepare to yield or stop before turning right or left. 7. You want to park uphill on a two-way road and there is no curb. Which direction do you turn your front wheels? A. Straight ahead. B. Right. Toward the side of the road. C. Left. Toward the center of the road. The answer is B. Right. Toward the side of the road. When parking either uphill or downhill on a road that has no curb, you should turn your wheels so that the vehicle will roll away from the center of the road if the brakes fail. 8. What is the difference between traffic lights with red arrows and those with solid red lights? A. Red arrows are only used to stop traffic which is turning. B. Red arrows are only used for protected turn lanes. C. You cannot turn on a red arrow, even if you stop first. The answer is C. 
you cannot turn on a red arrow, even if you stopped first. You may sometimes turn right when stopped by a solid red light. You may never turn left or right when stopped by a traffic light with a red arrow. 9. When entering the interstate, check for a gap in traffic in the nearest lane. Adjust your speed to match traffic, signal, and a. Expect traffic to allow you to proceed into the lane, since you have the right of way. b. Merge carefully into the gap. c. Wait for the lane to clear before merging. The answer is b. Merge carefully into the gap. Before merging into interstate traffic, you should identify a gap. Accelerate to the speed of traffic, and signal. Merge into the gap when it is safe to do so. Be alert to other traffic and do not expect other drivers to clear the lane. 10. This sign means. A. No right turn. B. Stop sign ahead. C. Divided highway. The answer is. A. No right turn. This sign indicates that turns in the direction of the arrow. In this case, to the right are prohibited. 11. It is illegal to park your vehicle. A. In an unmarked crosswalk. B. Within 3 feet of a private driveway. C. In a bicycle lane. The answer is. A. In an unmarked crosswalk. It is illegal to park your car on a marked or unmarked crosswalk. You may park in a bicycle lane if there is not a no parking sign posted and your vehicle does not block a bicyclist. 12. Extra space in front of a large truck is needed for a. Other drivers to merge onto the freeway. b. The truck driver to stop the vehicle. c. Other drivers when they want to slow down. The answer is b. The truck driver to stop the vehicle. Because they are larger, trucks take longer to stop than cars traveling at the same speed. Other drivers should not pull in front of a truck and then slow down or stop. 13. On a multi-lane road, a dashed yellow line next to a solid yellow line means a. Passing is prohibited from both directions. b. Passing is permitted from both directions. c. Passing is permitted only from the direction next to the dashed line. The answer is C. Passing is permitted only from the direction next to the dashed line, where there are both solid and dashed yellow lines between lanes of traffic. Only traffic directly next to the dashed line may cross the center line to pass. Drivers next to the solid line may not pass. 14. Tailgating other drivers driving too closely to their rear bumper. A. Can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. B. Cannot result in a traffic citation. C. Reduces collisions by preventing being cut off. The answer is A. Can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. Tailgating is a common behavior that can lead to aggressive driving, and so it should be avoided. Drivers may face legal consequences for driving unsafely. 15. If you are continually being passed on the right and the left, while driving in the center lane of an expressway, you should a. Stay in the center lane. b. Move to the lane on your right. c. Move to the lane on your left. The answer is b. Move to the lane on your right. If a road has four or more lanes with two-way traffic, drive in the right lanes. Unless you are passing or turning left. If you are on an interstate highway and are driving below the speed of the flow of traffic, use the right lane. 16. Sudden wind gusts on highways. A. Generally affect only the movement of large vehicles. B. Only cause visibility problems. C. Can cause problems for all vehicles. The answer is C. Can cause problems for all vehicles. While it can create special problems for large vehicles, strong wind can cause problems for all drivers. Wind can lower visibility by blowing dirt and dust into the roadway. But it can sometimes also physically move a vehicle. 17. When passing another vehicle, you should return to your original lane when 
A. You can see both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. B. You have cleared the front bumper of the past vehicle. C. You are 50 feet in front of the past vehicle. The answer is A. You can see both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. When passing another vehicle, move back into your original lane. Only when you can see the past vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror. This ensures that you will have enough room to safely pull back in front of the other vehicle. 8. What should you do at an intersection with a flashing yellow signal light? A. Maintain your speed but watch for other vehicles. B. Stop before crossing the intersection. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. The answer is C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. Slow down and be alert before entering the intersection. Yield to any pedestrians, bicyclists, or vehicles in the intersection. You do not need to stop for a flashing yellow traffic signal light. 19. When parking your vehicle on any hill. A. One of your rear wheels should touch the curb. B. Use your parking brake and leave the vehicle in park. C. Your front wheels should be parallel to the road, if there is no curb. The answer is B. Use your parking brake and leave the vehicle in park. When parking on a hill, you should always leave your vehicle in gear or in the park position. If there is no curb, you should turn your front wheels so that the vehicle will roll away from the center of the road if the brakes fail. If there is a curb, the front wheels should be turned toward it if headed downhill, or away from and gently touching it if headed uphill. 20. It is more dangerous to drive at night than during the day because a. You cannot see as far ahead at night. b. The road is always more slippery at night. c. Your reaction time is slower at night. The answer is A. You cannot see as far ahead at night. With decreased visibility and the glare of oncoming headlights, you cannot see as far ahead at night as you can during the day. Always use headlights and exercise caution when driving in the dark. 21. At dawn or dusk and in rain or snow, it can be hard to see and be seen. A good way to let other drivers know you are there is to turn A. Up the instrumental panel lights. B. On your parking lights. C on your headlights. The answer is C. On your headlights. You must use your headlights at any time when conditions prevent you from seeing other vehicles and when it may be difficult for other drivers to see you. Always use your low beam headlights if weather conditions require you to use your windshield wipers. 22. Large trucks turning onto a street with two lanes in each direction. A may complete the turn in either of the two lanes. B. Often have to use the left lane to complete the turn. C. Must stay in the right lane at all times while turning. The answer is B. Often have to use the left lane to complete the turn. Large trucks must often swing wide to complete a right turn. A truck making a right turn may initially appear to be turning left because of the need to swing wide. When behind a turning truck, you should pay attention to the truck's turn signal to be aware of which way the trucker actually intends to turn. 23. You should not start across an intersection. If you know you will block the intersection when the light turns red. A. Under any circumstances. B. Unless you entered the intersection on a yellow light. C. Unless you entered the intersection on a green light. The answer is A. Under any circumstances. Even if the signal is green, you must not enter an intersection. Unless you can get completely across before the light turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be sighted. 24. When turning left at an intersection. A. You should always yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. B. Oncoming traffic and pedestrians should yield to you. C. You should never yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. The answer is A. 
you should always yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. When turning left at an intersection, yield the right of way to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Once the intersection is clear and applicable signals allow, you may complete the turn. 25. This sign shows one type of A. Intersection. B. Road curve. C. Right turn. The answer is A. Intersection. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers that another road crosses the highway ahead. 26. This road sign means A. Cars in the right lane must slow down. B. No left turn. C. Merge. The answer is C. Merge. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that there could be traffic merging from the right. So drivers should prepare to allow traffic to safely merge. 27. If you are being followed too closely on a two-lane road. A. Reduce your speed slowly to encourage the tailgater to drive around you. B. Speed up to increase the distance between you and the other car. C. Apply your brakes to slow down, then resume your original speed. 28. The answer is A. Reduce your speed slowly to encourage the tailgater to drive around you. If you are being followed too closely by another driver, merge into a different lane. If there is no lane available for merging, wait until the road ahead is clear and slowly reduce your speed. This will encourage the tailgater to drive around you. 28. A flashing yellow traffic signal at an intersection means A. You should treat the signal like a stop sign. B. Stop. Yield to all cross traffic before crossing in the intersection. C. Slow down and be alert at the upcoming intersection. The answer is C. Slow down and be alert at the upcoming intersection. A flashing yellow signal means proceed with caution. You should slow down and be alert before entering the upcoming intersection and must yield to any pedestrians, bicycles, or vehicles in the intersection. However, you do not have to stop. 29. Which lane must you be in before making a left turn from a one-way street? A. The lane nearest the left curb. B. The lane nearest the center of the street. C. The lane nearest the right curb. The answer is A. The lane nearest the left curb. When making any turn, turn from the lane closest to the direction you wish to travel into the first available legal lane. If you are making a left turn from a one-way street, this means that you would make the turn from the lane nearest to the left curb. 30. Stopping distances and the severity of collisions. A. Decrease as a vehicle's speed increases. B are not affected by a vehicle's speed. C. Increase as a vehicle's speed increases. The answer is C. Increase as a vehicle's speed increases. Excessive vehicle speed can have disastrous effects. As a vehicle's speed increases, the potential impact of a collision also increases, elevating the possibility of serious injury and death. Increase your following distance as your speed increases to ensure that you will be able to stop safely if needed. 31. Blocking an intersection during rush hour traffic is not permitted. A. Unless you enter the intersection on a green light. B. Under any circumstances, even if your light is green. C. Unless you have the right of way or a green light. The answer is B. Under any circumstance, even if your light is green, go to next section. Even if your light is green, you should not enter an intersection. Unless you can get completely across before the light turns red. You can be sighted if you block the intersection. 32. On a freeway, you should look farther ahead than you would on a city street. A. In order to see potential hazards early. B. Because it takes a quarter of a mile to stop your vehicle completely. C. Because it helps you keep up with traffic.
The answer is A. In order to see potential hazards early on the freeway, be ready for changes in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on ramps and interchanges. And be prepared for rapid changes in road conditions and traffic flow. 33. At an uncontrolled intersection where you cannot see cross traffic. Until you are just about to enter the intersection, the speed limit is a. 15 miles per hour. b. 25 miles per hour. c. 20 miles per hour. The answer is a. 15 miles per hour. The speed limit for a blind intersection is 15 miles per hour. An intersection is considered blind if there are no stop signs on any corner. And you cannot see for 100 feet in either direction during the last 100 feet before crossing. 34. If you come to an intersection controlled by a flashing yellow light, you must a. Wait for the green light before proceeding. b. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. c. Stop before crossing the intersection. The answer is b. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. A flashing yellow traffic light means drivers must slow down. Be more aware, and proceed with caution. Be alert to crossing traffic and pedestrians. 35. You are on the freeway and traffic is merging into your lane. You should. A. Make room for the merging traffic, if possible. B. Assert your right of way by driving faster. C. Always maintain your position. The answer is A. Make room for the merging traffic, if possible. When traffic permits, you should make room to allow vehicles to merge into your lane. 36. The speed limit in any alley is A. 20 miles per hour. B. 15 miles per hour. C. 25 miles per hour. The answer is B. 15 miles per hour. The speed limit in any alley is 15 miles per hour. This is always the speed limit, whether or not it is posted. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the button and subscribe to my channel for more practice video. Thank you.